Hi, this is Mike Brightman with Bright Ideas Consultants, a Google authorized training center. You can visit us online at www.brightideasconsultants.com. There you can learn more about our online and in person SketchUp training programs. You can also sign up for our free SketchUp web demo, as well as our three hour long interactive online class, Free SketchUp 101, and also 30 minutes of free one on one online consulting. If you decide that you need it now, check out cb4building.com. We'd be more than happy to produce any digital 3D marketing material for you. Welcome to our third installment of our Bright Idea video series. Today we're going to talk about keyboard shortcuts. In general, keyboard shortcuts will make you infinitely faster and much more efficient. When utilizing shortcuts, you'll spend a lot less time searching for buried menus and icons on the screen, which ultimately means more time for design. So let's put your keyboard to work. My shortcuts are a combination of SketchUp, Photoshop, and AutoCAD. Let me show you some of my favorites as I create a quick SketchUp massing model. First off, I keep my left hand on the computer keyboard at all times. I can tap Escape to get out of any command, and I can always hit the space bar with my thumb to get my pan tool. Also, with my left hand on the keyboard, that puts my index finger right there on the Q key, which brings up my rectangle tool. I will always use my three button scroll wheel mouse to navigate and zoom. And if I tap the P key, I can push pull. And if I tap M, that's my selection tool. And I can triple click to select all connected geometry. And then I'll tap G to make a group. Now, the default SketchUp shortcut for G is to create a component. I prefer to make a group and then right click and choose make component. That way I don't have to fill out that create component dialog box. Also I can tap X to explode and then let's go ahead and make that back into a group. I'll tap G. I can now go to my move copy tool by tapping V and then hold down uh, tap control to make a copy. We'll toggle that copy command make a few of these guys and then I'll go back uh, let's tap S to get to our scale tool and then just rearrange some of these guys. And let's go back to our selection tool, hold down shift to add to my selection and tap H to hide that selection. I can then hold down shift and tap H again to unhide that selection. A critical keyboard shortcut is when I double click in here and I'm modifying this group or component, I can hide the rest of the model by tapping control H. This isolates that group or component and allows me to modify it without being distracted uh, or blocked by the rest of the model. And then I can tap Control H to get it back. And if I go back to my selection tool and tap Escape to get back out of there, uh, we can take a look at Control X. We can cut and paste. So I'm going to tap Control X to cut this guy and then double click into this com uh, group and then tap control V to paste it. Now we can also paste very precisely. If I hold down control, shift, and V, I can paste it right back in place. This is a great technique for reorganizing your model uh, to make it more efficient and pulling different pieces of a group or component out of one and then pasting them into another. Now I'm going to go back to my selection tool, tap escape a few times. Uh, while working in SketchUp quickly, we're always bouncing around between different dialogs. And under your window dropdown, you can see we have all these different dialogs. So if I just click on Show Dialogs, I can bring them all up at once. So I have my Components dialog box, my Materials, and I can just click on there and then start, start painting. Now, when I want to get rid of these guys, I can just tap Control D. And I can toggle all of my palettes on and off by tapping control D. It's a great way to access all of your dialog boxes very quickly. Now your SketchUp shortcuts are available under your Windows drop down menu under preferences and here you can see we have that little shortcuts tab over there at the left and then we have all of these different commands that we can add shortcuts to. So it looks like a lot but you can narrow that search down by just typing in a few words like hide rest and then that brings up our hide rest of model. Let me just come over here to our Add Shortcut, and then I'll add a shortcut of Control H, and click on Add, and then we're just reassigning that. That's fine. Now you can also import a DAT file that contains 
keyboard shortcuts. So if you look to the right of this video, you can see that I've exported my preferences and then shared them with you. So if you download those to a familiar spot such as your desktop, you can go to Import, and then you can navigate to your desktop and import that brightideaspreferences.dat file. So when you import that guy, it will set up all of your keyboard shortcuts to be exactly the same as mine. At that point, it gives you a, a nice spot to start and adding and, and creating your own keyboard shortcuts. If for some reason you decide that you just want to go back to where you were, you can always click on Reset All. We'll say OK to get out of that. Now one last comment on keyboard shortcuts, they're not just in SketchUp, they're in a lot of other programs. Uh, we even have keyboard shortcuts for Windows. If I hold down the Alt key and then click on Tab, or tap the Tab key, it brings up this window and I can navigate through the applications that I have open. So when I let go of the Alt key, it'll take me to that application. So here's AutoCAD, and then I can hold down the Control key and again tap on the Tab key and that'll toggle through the files or the drawings that I have open in AutoCAD. So then we can Alt tab over to Photoshop, low of Alt and now we're in Photoshop and then Control tab through all of these different images that I have open in Photoshop. This works for many many programs. We can even go over to Internet Explorer and then Control tab between those two uh, those two windows. So those are some tips on how to use keyboard shortcuts to be a little bit faster, not only in SketchUp, but in some other programs as well. Please do visit brightideasconsultants.com and sign up for our free classes and web demos and consulting. And, and also be sure to check out cb4building.com where you can take a look at our gallery and get some other creative ideas about how to use SketchUp. Again, my name is Mike Brightman with Bright Ideas Consultants, a Google authorized training center. Thanks for watching today and please stay tuned for the next Bright Idea.